Eh, vale. G, C, E, A. I want to take a quick minute to explain the major scale we've been doing with this A. C major as a C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, C major. No matter what key we're doing them in, we are figuring out how to find our sharps. If we know C has no sharps and no flats, that means I wouldn't say C, D, E, F, G, A, C flat, C. There'd be too many words in there. You know that that C flat is a B. I don't have to say that. Just the same way as you know that an E sharp is an F. We just don't say that. So long story short, when we've got Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, our whole step from C to D, our whole step from D to E, half step from E to F, half, uh, whole step from F to G, whole step from G to A, whole step from A to B, and then a half step from B to our resolution to C. Just because I'm playing individual tones doesn't mean I can't play the tone and then the chord. Following suit. What this does is it shows the full chords. This is a major. This is a minor. This here is a minor. We've got a major fourth. Major fifth, perfect fifth. Minor sixth. Dominant seventh. I'm sorry, diminished seventh. <laughs> and then our resolution. What happens when we start moving these chords around? It doesn't matter if we go up to D major. As long as our next chord in D major is following suit. D to E, right? But E goes to an E minor. D major, E minor. In D, we've got two sharps. In G, there is one, just the one F sharp. In D, now we have two. One's F sharp and one's C sharp. So when I play the F, I can't just play the F here, nor can I just scoot it up and play. You know that we've been playing our F two different ways. The idea is, if you play your F this way and drop your F to this uh, A flat and take the finger that was on the A and put it on the F and put your pinky down, you make an F minor. F minor, F major. F minor. So this is F minor and a second fingering. When I scoot that up a half step, making it sharp a minor second, I now can put my finger down on the C sharp, giving that that tone it needs, or else it has that distance, which is an augmented chord. What you need is, and that is a F sharp minor. We've gone over this chord before, I just want you to see it again. D major, E minor, F sharp minor, G major. A major, B minor, C sharp diminished, D major. All these chords, you know, the C sharp diminished might be a little foreign, but it's the same as all the way up the fretboard. So what I'd like to do is show you, like we talked about today in our lesson, the notes that are behind that, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, Na, Ti, Do. If I'm playing in the key of C, in the key of F, and the key of G, some chords have notes that are similar, like in the key of C and the key of A minor. What I'm about to show you, what you play over the top of these, it doesn't matter. It'll always work. If you have a C, a D, a E, a G, a A, and then a C, so you basically have C, D, E, G, A. All those notes are five notes and they're called the pentatonic scale. What it sounds like is this. Those are the little exoskeletons for all the notes that are inside a major scale. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Do, 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 do. So when you play that, you could have different versions of that as long as all the notes you choose are the same notes. The C, the B, the E, the G, and the A. That's for majors. When you go to a minor, like a C minor, you don't use the second and you don't use the third. You actually use the third and the fourth, which looks like this. C, E flat, one open three, and then we're gonna play an F, a G, a B flat, and then the resolve. So what we have is the flat third, C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, 
That's a minor scale, aeolium. The reason why, it's got a whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step movement in between, and it makes it interesting because when you play in the key of C major and you give yourself no sharps, no flats, you get do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. If you start at your A in that's your six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and do no black keys as well, uh, or is that A? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That gives you the, the steps and the intervals for a minor scale. Same thing is derived out of the key of G major. In the key of G major, there's one sharp. That sharp is an F sharp. The reason why I know is it is five notes from C. C, D, E, F, G. G now has one sharp. That sharp is F sharp. So when I play G, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I can't play just that F. I have to play F, G. Sorry. Da, 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 da. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Because that tonality follows the interval spacings of whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So what we're seeing right here with the pentatonics is you're quite literally just hopping around these. The majors have a C, D, E, G, A, B. Sorry, no B. A, C. And then the minors have a C, E flat, F, G, B flat, C. Both have five notes, just one has different tonality to give it a little darker, more melancholy tone. So, when you're playing chords like a D minor, you can play your, your D minor pentatonics over the top, and it will work every time. You can also play your relative so if you're playing in the key of D major, you could play a B minor, which is its um, relative minor. And all the notes that are inside the B minor will be inside the D major. All the notes inside the E minor will be inside the G major. And the fun of this is you get to be using these back and forth without even thinking about it. So if I'm doing like a C major to an F to a G and then back to an F, I could use those notes except for that that walk up used all those notes the only ones that didn't use those notes would be that structure which is a B flat in between a B and resolution to a C all these chords you know so this week what I'd like you to do is work on doing your do re mi fa so la ti do your seven note scales do one two three four six one doing your pentatonic scales in major and then doing your pentatonic minors one, three, four, five, seven, five. Hope that made sense to us. If you have any questions, put them in the comment or give me a text or an email and I will get back to you. It's good seeing you. I'll see you next Saturday. Aloha.